First of all, explain to us what this UN program is and what you're a global ambassador for. Um, so I am a UN Women Champion for Innovation. I believe that's an official title. I certainly hope it is. Um, and we champion gender uh, equality rights, rights for gender equality for women. Um, and we are launching today a program called She Innovates, which, which you stated, um, which bas basically puts forth um, a set of principles or guidelines, or I would like to think of them as rules, but I think they're more guidelines about women in the workplace and ways that businesses can uh, implement um, change for, for the positive, for women and for uh, gender equality as we move this whole conversation forward. In fact, you've been a champion of this for 20 years at this point, and even longer, <laughs> even longer your yeah. days modeling for Chanel and the creation of baby fat, which really yes. launched the whole streetwear you know, idea and concept, which now is mainstream, but back then was so underground. Talk to us about the economic impact of having more equality in the workplace. I think the whole idea for us, and like you said, I've been doing this, you know, I'm only of a certain age. I've been doing it for a very long time, Hard to believe, probably yeah. 30 years or more. So I think it's very important that we have these um, conversations and the time is now. It's, it's no um, better time. It's no better or bigger platform than we have now. But I do believe we've been taking small steps all along. Um, like you mentioned from my days in fashion as a model and then on the other side as a designer and then as it uh, relates to me um, trans, uh, transforming into the businesswoman and the CEO, I think it's very important that you have women on both sides, women as the end user, women as the creator. It's only going to make it, you know, we are such a big consumer. We are such a, so responsible for so many of the dollars that are floating around. We need to take more of that responsibility and own it and it needs to be uh, targeted towards us. And in fact part of the She Innovates program messaging is that equality, you know, closing the gender gap adds between 10 and 17 trillion dollars to the global economy. Talk to us about this new announcement that you have today because it is actually very exciting and it goes to your, your entrepreneurship as well. Yes, so um, as a part, of, I'm excited to to actually announce this on International Women's Day. But I have a brand. It's called Baby Fat, Baby we Fat by Kamoralee Simmons, and I started 20 something years ago. Um, and I've recently just purchased that uh, company back, and so I'll be relaunching that and rolling that out um, this year. And for many people who who know me and know of my start, then they remember that it's always been kind of a family journey for me. And I have two little girls, Ming and Aoki. I also have two young boys, Kenzo and Wolf. But Ming and Aoki, they kind of know from the show and from always being with me in the atelier and in the design room and going down the runway. So now they're older, 16 and 19, um, and they will be helping me, helping me with the reins, so to speak, helping me at the helm. What's your read on the consumer and how things have changed? Because as I say, you did this 20 years ago and it was a gigantic success. Since then, streetwear has become almost mainstream. Back then it was maybe Tommy Hilfiger and Ralph Lauren and now you open the door to so many other brands. And at a time when we have Calvin Klein closing down, Estee Lauder saying, no, things are great. How do you read the situation? Um, I think for me it's always been about answering um, a question or filling a void or really I have uh, a great communication I think with my consumer and my customer um, for me it's about pushing the agenda of um, women business owners women CEOs women with uh, creative positions women of color and so for me I feel like it's no no better time business is great um, I always have that core group and the core supporter. Many, many people have come along with me on, on the journey, whether they are my kids' age, so that's the millennial, or whether they're my age, which is a little bit older. <laughs> but I think there's um, no better time. But you definitely have to navigate it a little carefully to see what's right for, for you, for an individual at any given time. 